One year ago, two bomb blasts in New England's capital city killed three and injured hundreds, and in many ways changed Boston forever. As for the suspect, one died in a gun battle with police. The other is still behind bars awaiting trial. Ebrews Kyle Schmoyer is live now in Boston as the city remembers the victims and the heroes of the 2013 Boston Marathon. Kyle. Well, good evening, Logan. You know, this gray, damp, windy and rainy day, almost very fitting to mark the one-year anniversary of what was one of the darkest days in Boston history. No matter today whether you're Vice President Joe Biden, who was here to mark the occasion, or just an ordinary Bostonian walking here through Copley Square, this was a day to remember the victims, support the survivors, and honor heroes. Beautiful voices filled the convention center Tuesday as Boston came together to mark one year since the marathon bombing. The thing we witnessed in the aftermath of that vicious attack last year, and that I submit we are here today to celebrate, is precisely that sense of community, that enduring and transcendent display you and so many others showed last year of kindness and grace. Many of the 260 plus injured, their families and first responders celebrated how far they've come in 365 days. We should have never met this way, but we are so grateful for each other. We have shared our despair, sense of loss, and challenges, as well as our hope, gratitude, and triumphs. We have been there for each other, and we will continue to be there to pick each other up and celebrate milestones for years to come. That resilience, that Boston strong attitude is what evildoers just don't understand about Americans. And it infuriates them that we refuse to bend, refuse to change, refuse to yield to fear. You are Boston strong. But America is strong. Eight-year-old Martin Richard, Crystal Campbell, and college student Lindsay Liu were killed in the attacks. Their family started the day by paying respects at the very spots the bombs went off near the finish line. Police took turns guarding the reeds on Boylston Street, and even through heavy rain and wind, the community marked the precise time the bombs detonated with a moment of silence and tolling church bells throughout Boston. Boston on this special day, even though it's a tragedy, it goes to show that even when things get tough, people get tougher. I just felt terribly violated, and I just felt it was important to just recognize the one-year anniversary and also acknowledge all the people from Boston who stepped up to the plate last year. It was, uh, I think it was a pretty phenomenal show of humanity. And for many, this is only Act One. Unfinished business awaits on Marathon Monday. When I cross that finish line, it's going to be a picture that my kids will have to remember the Boston Marathon by. It's going to be me crossing that finish line showing that this city is strong, that we are strong, rather than the pictures we have from last year. And the former mayor of Boston, Thomas Menino, who was in office during that tragic day one year ago, probably put it best today when addressing the crowd at the convention center. He said this past year has been a year of first. The first birthday without a son. The first holiday without a daughter. The first 4th of July when the sound of fireworks scared you. The first day to walk on a new leg. Logan. Kyle, it's all incredibly moving even a year later. And I think in part of it uh, is because Boston is kind of a big, small town. This is very personal, what happened there. This isn't some isolated city where strangers pass day by day. This is a place where people know each other. They know the cops. They know the neighborhoods. And uh, this was a crime against uh, the people of Boston. 
Yeah, absolutely. You know, Logan, being up here after that tragic day one year ago, the people did take it very personally, uh, what two brothers did to their city, to their marathon, something that they look forward to every year. You know, it's not just the people from this city proper, but all the suburbs as well, because as you can remember, when police finally, days later, apprehended the suspect, the younger brother in this, that's when the crowds actually came together cheering for law enforcement after they made that arrest a very horrifying day uh, just a couple days after the bombing to get uh, both uh, the brother who was deceased and also the younger brother in custody. So yes, as you say, this is a small town with a big city and the people here took it very personally and today too so many people coming out in this wet and windy and damp day said they had to be here because what happened to them one year ago hit close to their heart and it still does 365 days later. All right, Kyle Schmoy reporting live tonight from Boston Strong, Massachusetts. Thanks so much for that report.